Throughout the history of presidential elections, certain inspiring moments have propelled candidates to victory. The, um, uh... These are not those moments. It's a long road to the White House. Don't screw it up. If you had told us one year ago that we were going to come in third in Iowa, we would have given anything for that. Not only are we going to New Hampshire, Tom Harkin, we're going to South Carolina and Oklahoma and Arizona and North Dakota and New Mexico. We're going to California and Texas and New York. And we're going to South Dakota and Oregon and Washington and Michigan. And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House. You know, the difference between uh, just an incidental gaffe and, and one that really can bring down a campaign is if that gaffe somehow speaks to something that the, the public and the media are suspicious of about that character. So, for example, Howard Dean, uh, he's a, kind of a high-strung guy, and uh, his opponents in the race were kind of whispering, you know, this guy cannot be trusted. He's not going to be a cool commander-in-chief. This guy's going to have his finger on the uh, atomic bomb button, right? Uh, so when he kind of has that explosion of the, the Dean scream, it played into the narrative that was already just waiting uh, to be exposed by the media. And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House! Yeah! If Howard Dean were running for the 2016 elections, and he would have done that exact same speech, the exact same way, under the exact same conditions, I don't think anybody would have paid any attention to it whatsoever. Howard Dean has got to be sitting at home and watching every single night some of the things that these candidates are saying. And he's got to wonder at the unfairness of the universe uh, that he was born just a little bit too early. Has anyone ever told you you look just like Charlie Chaplin? Oh my God, can you do the waddle? Do the waddle. Do it, do it. 